Hey guys, Pain Relievers here, bringing you a dose of tips to help you deal with some common perks that killers use. So first perk we're going over is Ruin. You'll be hard pressed to find a killer who's not running this perk. Uh, so first tip is use a map. It's very easy to find totems with a map, and you can also reveal those totems to your teammates, so potentially anyone can cleanse it. So if you don't like maps, what you can try doing is using the killer to find his totem. So usually at the start of the game, the killer will run in the general direction that his totem is because he doesn't want it to instantly be uh, destroyed by survivors. So what you can do is just wait around, see if he comes in your area. If he does, then you can be pretty sure that his totem is nearby. So I sweep the area around me. I'm like, hey, maybe there's a totem around here. And lo and behold, I am right. It's right there. So if you're having a hard time finding the totem, what you can do is do a gen tap to skip the skill checks entirely. It is slower than regularly repairing the generator, but you at least can skip the skill checks and prevent regression. So you just repair it, stop repairing, and then repair again. So another way to counter totems is to equip a perk that's meant for finding them or mitigating their effects. So small game lets you find totems easier, stakeout lets you mitigate the effects by making your good skill checks great skill checks, and this is not happening increases your skill check success zones. So one last way to counter Hex Ruin is to bring a toolbox with the Grip Wrench add-on. It lets you get bigger skill check success zones and makes it more likely for you to hit those great skill checks necessary to prevent regression. So next perk we're going over is No One Escapes Death, and the first tip is to cleanse all the totems on the map before the game ends. This is a great way to prevent anybody from getting instantly downed, but it does take more time than just handling it when it pops up. So next tip is you can completely nullify No One Escapes Death by getting a hatch escape. Uh, even if he were to down me right here, it wouldn't matter. I'd still be able to escape with uh, the hatch. And uh, you can escape before the totem even activates in the game. So, yeah. So next tip is just play extra safe, maybe be sneaky, and don't get hit on your way out. So if you happen to have an obsession on your team, what you can do is use them to know when the killer's chasing them and when you're safe and when the killer might be after you. So there are a good number of perks that can increase your odds of survival. If the killer does have no ed, you can use borrowed time to save teammates from hooks. You can use decisive strike to struggle out. You can use no mither to recover from the dying state. If he slugs you, you can use tenacity. If he slugs you, you can use unbreakable if he slugs you. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple options for you. So last perk we're going to go over is Nurse's Calling, and first tip for you is to just run to the corner of a map and heal up. Uh, it's kind of unlikely that they'll run to your corner, but sometimes it does happen, like in this instance right here. Typically the more experienced the killer is, the more they'll be expecting this strategy. next thing you can do is bring a med kit to reduce your window of vulnerability. So if you heal up fast enough, it won't really matter if they can see you because you'll already be uh, up a health state. So just like right here, I heal just in time to deal with this hillbilly right here. So if you have a play style that has you being sneaky most of the game, like I do most of the time, uh, you can just never get hit and never have to heal. So if you don't have a med kit on hand to patch yourself up quickly, you can go over to a teammate and have them heal you up. And usually you can do that before the killer comes, but sometimes that happens. So there's a variety of perks you can use to lessen your need to heal immediately or to heal faster. Will make it can let you heal faster. Pharmacy can let you heal faster. No mither, you don't have to heal at all. Uh, Iron will reduces the need to heal immediately. Uh, Botany Knowledge, you heal faster with that, and Adrenaline Rush, you can just heal immediately when the generators are powered. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for future content.